Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be an Astro Flower reading for the 25th going through to the 1st of May. Uh, if you want to know more about the Astro Flower, get down in the description below. You'll find all about the petals and the elements that go through your sign. Um, interesting reading, definitely different from last week. Uh, last week, at the beginning part of last week, you might have found that it was actually really difficult uh, emotionally, physically, uh, a lot of things that needed to be put into place, uh, like healthy boundaries. That was should have been your karmic mission this week. Uh, it may have made create complications on your material path. But this week, if you've done that work, well done. And if you have done that work, look what's coming for you. It looks like it's going to be great. Uh, if you didn't see us last week, you probably haven't been subscribed and joined this happy family, the Astro Flower. You should do. Uh, you'd have to click that bell and stuff like that. Um, so this is the Astro Flower. This is the relationships, and this could be to do with your family, your friends, and your community. Uh, and also to be, with, obviously, with couples and stuff like that. And this is the material path. This is to do with your business, your projects, and your jobs, and etc. Um, this is your karmic mission uh, for this week. This is how the universe influences your karmic mission. This is how your guides influence your karmic mission. And this is how your guides influence that conversation that is within you. And this is with uh, the spirit that is within you. And also this is how you combine those sort of two sides together. So uh, looks a lot better anyway for this week. And there's certainly things that have actually come to an head uh, for you guys. Um, so which side are we going to take? Uh, let's take the work side. Okay, so on the work side here, you've got the universe that is trying to ask you to make sure you get a fair exchange going on. I, I don't think this is like you cheating other people. I don't think that at all. Um, I think it's more of a case of realizing that other people around you may not have your best interests at heart. So therefore, uh, if in the material world, in your job, uh, and uh, in your business or your projects and stuff like that, make sure that, you know, you don't mind, you're a worker, you're a boss, you do it, you know what I mean, Capricorn, you tend to work hard. And if you're going to work hard, you should get the rewards that go along with it. Um, you've got in your karmic mission this week is actually the high priestess. Now, the high priestess is all about seeing things, the intuition, um, making it absolutely clear of seeing the unseen, as it were. So picking your way through that path of uh, life uh, by giving, getting yourself a lot ahead of the curve in a way. Um, and this is through practices, religious practices that you do. So it could be through your meditation and stuff like that. But it's going to help you to see clearly how you can do it, uh, put this in place according to your work and everything like that. It'd be a good time to... Um, be very astute for your business, maybe, um, of seeing those possible openings within your business or within the, your work where you're working uh, or, or within the projects that you're actually doing. And as long as there's a fair exchange, and this is where you can combine your intuition and you can see things coming up which may not be of that case. That's what your guides are trying to influence upon your karmic path. So they're trying to sort of say, with that intuition, don't be picky. Don't uh, play on to the bad side of things or that intuition of trying to beat someone. Actually, you should use that intuition to actually enjoy life better and how you can increase that enjoyment within your work area. That's what it sort of seems to be that you guys are sort of influencing upon you. And then above that, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, she was sitting over this side last week. So it's obviously moved from the relationship side to the physical side. And this is what you seem to be putting in place this week and using that intuition to the Queen of Pentacles. She's got that lovely wry smile because she knows. That's the thing. When someone knows, if you know, you're, if, you, if you're holding four aces in a poker game, you know you're going to win. And she knows that. Because she's sitting at that tree, at the base of the tree of the knowledge. So your guides are sort of saying to you, you've got this, you know this. You can feel sure about this. And now use your intuition to put it in place the best you can. Um, but make sure that there's a fair exchange. And you're a fair, you know, in the astro flower, you, the, the Capricorn is the sign that's pretty much got 25, 25, 25, 25 percentage of, 
you know, it's the split of elements is pretty much the same across to you. So we can, you know, Capricorns can be perceived to be boring. I'm Capricorn, don't think I'm boring. Well, I probably am, actually. I'm a bit of a fucking brain sometimes. But there you know. Um, but, um, you know, but you're bossing it up and it's it's that understanding of that balance of how you can have things in life. And, and with that fair exchange, you understand that in order for it to work, in order for you to win, it's got every, it's got to work for everybody. There's no point just working for you. It's got to work for everybody. And I think that's sort of fair exchange. And it may not have been working for you. And now you're positioning yourself so it does work for you. So that's the material sort of side. Let's look at the uh, relationship side. So you've got the universe here. It's sort of saying, just put it out there. Just get involved. Just throw caution to the wind. Um, and just live your heart. That's what it's sort of saying to you. Let's see how it sort of pans out. Ooh, three of swords. Ah, the relationships, three of swords. So there may be something that your guides are having to deal with around you and trying to protect you from relationships that are causing you pain. That may well be what it is. It may well also be some of you, for some of you, it's separation and stuff like that. But I think it's more of a case that the your guys are just trying to avoid any heartache for you this week. Because uh, you might have had a lot of heartache the week before, uh, putting things into place. So, uh, you know, you, it's good to allow your guys to do this, to take care of you. Okay? And then you've got the Ten of Pentacles above it, with complete and utter abundance, where you had the Queen of Pentacles over on that side. So it looks like it's a very fortuitous week, really. And I think that, you know, the boundaries, if you did put those boundaries in place, which was in this petal, it, which was where the um, in petal two, in your karmic mission last week, you're going to be less affected by that Three of Swords sort of situation. Let's see how it's sort of like the two of them coupled together. It's all about planning this week. It's all about planning. So it's seeing clear the future, living with your Ace of Hearts, uh, Ace of Cups, uh, you know, pushing your heart out there. It's starting of a new journey, leap of faith, uh, happiness after sorrow, which is, seems to have been the case because you had the six of uh, six of Swords here and the five and the nine of Swords here, and also the five of Cups here last time. So it was a pretty horrific sort of reading last week. But it's certainly got past that this week. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, definitely a change of environment. And it's quite a dramatic change as well. How does it make you feel with inside you? A week of healing. That's probably the best thing. So as you plan your journey, you don't need to necessarily uh, risk anything this week. It's a case of just taking a breather. Uh, just doing what needs to be done to get through and everything like that. You're doing well, but it is preparing for that journey as you as you heal yourself, as you take time out for yourself. And this is probably what you need with inside you. Taking that time out will actually help you to see clearly the future path. Okay, so um, yeah, and it is planning that future path, and that, that's what that two of wands is all about. Get prepared. Because you're going to be heading off on a mission by the looks of things. So it'd be interesting to see how the sun plays with the elements in this coming week. Uh, if you want to know more about that, go on to Cymatic TV. It's our sister channel. We do energy updates there, um, earth messages and chakra frequencies uh, on that channel there. But it'd be interesting to sort of see how it plays with that fire and the air underneath it. So it might... Mm, you just got to be a little bit careful depending on how the sun is. You know, don't get too uh, enthusiastic. Don't get too carried away with your plans. Uh, just make sure you see clearly the, the path going forward. And that's what you will do, I think, because you've got a lot of air down at the base of your petals. Okay, so there you go, Capricorn. Um, uh, yeah, so... Welcome to the Astro for Our family. Uh, please do enjoy. Come and see us on Instagram as well. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy. <laughs> 